Hi, this is Gronya from the Sound Tuning Academy. In this video series, we're going to be looking at drumming, specifically the frame drum. The frame drum is an instrument that we use on our online courses, our live online courses, and during our workshop courses. I'm going to be talking to Maura Gwiley, our Glasgow-based teacher, and she's going to tell us more about it. Hi, Maura, thanks for joining me. Hi, Gronya. how are you tonight? I'm good. So I am here to talk to you about frame drums. We uh, teach drumming as part of our multi-instrument courses, as well as standalone courses in drumming. We mainly teach the frame drum, so I'd like you to tell us a bit more about that. What is a frame drum? So this is a frame drum, uh, and if you turn it around, you can see it's got it's the skin stretched and tied at the back. And it's called a frame drum because it's stretched over a frame. So it's a round wooden hoop around the side and then the skin is stretched across it. And as you can see, it's tied and you have a handle that you can hold it with. OK, um, I believe you have many drums that you uh, use on your workshop courses. Um, I'd like you to pick three if you could. Okay. Ones that you use, what would you pick if you were to work with a person one-to-one? -one? So, uh, drumming when you're working one-to-one -one is very good for grounding the person at the end. And this one here, this uh, it's a Remo. I'll just move it up the right way. It's a Remo Black Baia and it's a bass drum. So it's got a very deep grounding tone. So this is very good when you're working in a one-to-one -one situation, especially if you want to ground your client at the end and bring them back. So this is a this is a lovely drum. Fantastic. And then for group setting, what would do you, do you need to go louder for a group setting, or would you pick a bigger drum? Mm, not necessarily. This is kind of like a just a nice good all-round drum. Is the Remo Buffalo drum? Uh, it's you can hear it. It's a good bit higher in tone so that's nice for just a, a bigger uh the 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 black bar here although it's very deep it's quite soft it's quite quiet but this one is probably a little bit louder as well so this is the this is quite a, a common drum where quite a lot of people have the the buffalo one so there we go that's that one right and then what would be your all round What's your most first so uh the one that i really like is my red deer skin drum this was made especially for me uh, if you can see it's got the the red deer skin and the lacing on the back it's actually got a citrine crystal in it as well and again it's it's quite a it's quite a clean high sound so it's a little bit different as well from the other ones so it's an animal skin one okay well fantastic thank you for telling us about the frame drum and the different types of drums that can be used at our workshops and that people can use with clients or in group settings. Thank you so much, Morag. I'll talk to you. You're soon. welcome. Thanks to Morag there for telling us a little bit about the frame drum and the different types of drums that she owns. If you are unsure about which frame drum to choose, whether it be synthetic or animal skin, do subscribe as we'll be covering it in our next video in this series. Mm -hmm.